Welcome to another Moz Play video. This is Moz Mojito, and today we're going to be picking up where we left off from the last video with The Wandering Village. Okay, so we're back and uh, right now we have some uh, research uh, points that just went live and it's asking us to choose which resource path we're going research path we're going to go. Um, we'll go ahead and go ahead and uh, pick one and from the last video I also talked about uh, us building a mushroom farm uh, in the brown patch of dirt off to the left side. Now we are running short on resources so I have a bunch of tree, ch tree chopping all queued up as you can see on screen with all the different trees and the bubbles on them so I have my people uh, going around trying to get as much uh, materials as they need but so far a lot of our construction projects are on hold because we don't have enough uh, enough uh, either stone or wood or other materials so uh, that is the priority right now we're gonna get our people uh, uh, gathering and building and we're gonna speed up time here so we can uh, get this uh, some of these uh, building uh, construction sites filled in. Okay, so with uh, that focus on the animation there with the uh, creature shaking itself, it looks like it did a lot of damage to a lot of my houses and some of my other uh, buildings in the village because you can see they're all crumbled to dust. So now we're going to have to spend even more resources to rebuild all the damaged areas um, and that's going to slow us down even further. So as you can see, some of the houses are gone. I used to have a lot more houses than that. But now I have to send my people to rebuild all these uh, destroyed uh, sites just from the uh, Ongbu or Anbu uh, doing that little shake there. And you can see in the bottom left what the message is, um, uh, what exactly happened to kind of gives you a history on why things got destroyed. So uh, meanwhile, the... Uh, the uh, Anbu just keeps pressing on. Looks like he's going to sleep now, so we should be able to get some more stuff done. And hopefully he doesn't wake up and shake up our village again, causing us even more damage and setting us even further behind. All right, after looking at the big map, uh, notice that there were some villages off to the side. So we're going to be dropping a uh, new building here, um, kind of off close to the edge, because it's like all the areas that have X's you can't build there. Um, but yeah, we're going to be um, uh, going ahead and uh, dropping a scavenger uh, type hut. I think that's what it was called. Um, and this will allow us to send some villagers, uh, especially when the creature is sleeping. We'll be able to send them off and discover new villages. So we're unlocking more research uh, as we go. Um, 
And again, uh, every time that the Ambu moves or shakes or does some stuff, we have even more damage that we have to constantly go back and repair. So that's really setting us, uh, setting us behind here. So uh, we're gonna keep us directing our people to rebuild and keep directing them to uh, get more wood and resources. And hopefully we can grow this village as quickly as possible. Okay, uh, looking at the map, I see three villages kind of on the outskirts of uh, the path that we're walking. The Anbu is uh, waking up. Um, and now we're going to keep continuing down the, uh, the path that it's walking. And hopefully we can get some villagers trained up to send them off to some of those villages uh, that we see on the map and get some more resources and any other goodies that they may be able to bring uh, when they explore. Um, I see that the Ambu, uh, according to the message down below, uh, letting off a deep growl. So I think at some point you'll be able to set up some kind of system to feed the Ambu and maybe not make uh, the creature shakes so much and destroy your village, but uh, we haven't gotten to that point yet. So for now, we're just going to keep trying to grow our village and repair things as they get uh, knocked down. Like now, he's doing another shake, so that means it's going to be even more damage. 
and we're gonna have to continue to do even more repairs and gather more wood um, so this is just kind of an ongoing challenge I guess this would be the closest thing to the natural weather phenomena as far as destroying things in the house but uh, I think we can we can do it we just got to keep pressing through and hopefully sooner rather than later we get this village built up and we can get these guys to chop trees a little faster Okay, so uh, we're going to go ahead and plant some mushrooms uh, down in the brown area. As you can see, there's a message in the bottom left where it says the Ambu seems unsure about which path to take uh, at the upcoming crossroads. I think that's a feature that we're going to be able to unlock here uh, eventually, probably a new building that kind of gives us an opportunity to tell the Ambu whether it's going to go left or right or straight ahead. So. That's not something that we've unlocked yet. Maybe that's a research item, but uh, we're going to continue to just keep the research going, keep unlocking new buildings and uh, just trying to keep grow our building. And again, um, more shakes, more building collapses. So more repairs are necessary and even more resources are needed to fix the, fix the damaged building. So this is seems to be an ongoing theme. Uh, with this game build things collapse rebuild they'll get more resources he shakes again things collapse and then start all over again so a bit of a challenge but i think we can get through it Thank <laughs> you. 
we got a positive message here more nomads to join us more people means uh, more resource gathering and uh, more resources mean that we can grow our village a lot faster so uh, we will take any and all the help we can get but hopefully we can keep the food production up to feed all the extra people uh, as we go through so uh, population level up according to a message in the bottom left um, so villager needs have increased so that means we're going to have to make sure that our food production is on tap and any other resources that the villagers need uh, that we're producing what what is required so uh, again looking at the message uh, history down below the creature is not sure which way to go so we're just going to let let it decide uh, whether it's going to go left right or straight because we don't have a building to control the direction yet so um, we're going to continue on, build new buildings that we've uh, unlocked in research, gather more resources, and just kind of keep it going. Hopefully we can get this town, this village built up quickly and stay on top of repairing things every time it shakes. Okay, so the horn blower is being built. That's an important building, looks like. Uh, allows you to change direction. And then the feeding trebuchet is also being built. So that's gonna allow you to feed the ombu since it's always grumbling, uh, letting out deep growls that it's hungry. And it looks like when it gets hungry, uh, it starts shaking and doing damage to things on its back. So uh, we'll probably definitely um, want to make sure we keep it fed it says this place contains some fresh food for ambu according to the bottom left uh, message so uh the feeding trebuchet would help us uh with getting some of that fresh food uh and getting it to the creature so that maybe it doesn't shake as much um we're gonna keep pushing along um there are plenty of things that we still haven't unlocked yet and they're still a lot of idle people standing around i don't know if it's because it's nighttime or what's going on exactly but you know they're just kind of hanging out uh i'd like to see them actually getting some resources or doing things but maybe this is a point in the game where they're just gonna kind of stay idle until it's daytime again
okay so far so good um we're gonna zoom in take a look at some of the buildings that we have still a couple under construction so we got a kitchen here makes uh, raw food such as berries and beets into processed food um, and we can kind of set what product we're creating we're gonna do the mushroom uh, stew since we got the mushroom farm going I have a lot of the buildings have the yellow flags looks like they're low on manpower so I see a lot of people that stand idly around. Maybe it's just because we don't have enough nomads to fill all the different jobs that the buildings are saying they're short on workers on. So um, I guess over time, as we attract more nomads, we'll be able to, to get more uh, operations done. So we're still moving along. Uh, we still need trees. So we're still going to be sending people out to farm and gather. Um, hopefully we have enough workers uh, I'm not sure if it's like some of the other games like banished and um, Vikings and uh, uh, patreon or whatever there's so many games uh, out there where you have to have dedicated lumberjacks or woodworkers so let's see how this goes so here's the path uh, looks like we're coming up on something smoking in the middle of the road I don't know if that's a poison cloud or what um, but I don't know if we're prepared to handle that, but the Anbu just kind of keeps moving along, uh, taking its breaks, uh, sleeping, and we just try to keep the village intact. Uh, hasn't done any shaking lately, so that's a good thing, but I'm sure eventually we're probably going to have some more damage. So hopefully we can get enough resources queued up so that we can probably start using that food trebuchet and start feeding it.
Okay, so the biggest issue that I'm seeing right now is not so much the resources to finish some of the construction projects, but the lack of workers. There's flags everywhere that are yellow marking that they're short on labor. So um, that's really what's holding me back right now is just not having enough people for all the work that needs to be done. And hopefully that'll change as we continue to go down the path. But I think it's going to improve when I unlock the ability to go to different villages while we're walking and probably do some recruiting, bringing in more nomads to the village uh, and filling up a lot of these uh, these job vacancies. Okay, so um, as with anything, uh, we always got to keep an eye on our research. Uh, so these are the things that we've unlocked so far. Um, we still got a couple other things below those trees that need to be unlocked. Uh, so there's our village tab. Um, quite a few things unlocked. It looks like we want to get to cottage. We're it looks like hut. We're getting there with HUD or that'll be the next major thing we want to unlock so that we can get out of the uh, scavenger or the tree uh, little tents. They'll seem to be a little bit more sturdy and probably can handle the, the ambu shakes a little more. So quite a few things that we still have pending to unlock. So. And the ambu keeps going along. Looks like there's some kind of blue circle in our path coming up. So, um, and we're still short on workers. So that's really going to kind of slow down our growth. Um, but we will do the best we can. And now I'm starting to see some night like, poison blue stuff grow in the bottom left as it walks through, I guess, a certain area of the map. So. Okay, so as we push on down this path, it uh, looks like we're coming to a good point where we can put a bookmark in it. Go ahead and save our game and we'll come back and play this some more and try to, to get some more workers to fill in some of those uh, job vacancies and get more resources so that we can build up our village. So as always, I'd like to thank you for taking the time to watch my videos. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe and we will see you in the next video.